For this edition of The Call Out, we went to this year's joint National Association for Black and Hispanic Journalists Conference in Las Vegas to see which injustices some of Black America's most notable figures wanted to address. I'm Ben Crump, National Civil Rights Attorney who fight all across America for the injustices that impact Black people. You know, one of the things I'm fighting for right now is Henrietta Lacks' family, the black woman whose cells were stolen from her body in 1950, and miraculously, they keep reproducing on their own. Well, pharmaceutical companies have made billions and billions of dollars, and her black family hasn't received one red cent. While Mr. Crump zeroes in on medical racism, MSNBC host Tiffany Cross wanted to address the lack of diversity in media. And I'm gonna call out representation in the media, because as you know, demographics of America is changing very rapidly. And so indigenous communities, Latino communities, API communities, and certainly the black community is the rising majority of America. And we need to center our lived experiences and our perspectives in media. And even though that may make some people uncomfortable, too bad, because we've been uncomfortable for a mighty long time. Like Cross, Boston Globe culture columnist and associate editor, Janae Osterhelt, want to see the stories of black folks being centered. I'm gonna see more black stories of joy, black stories of love and tenderness and the fullness of our humanity. We are more than brutality. We are more than injustice. Media personality and Black Women Views founder Reese Colbert had a different problem to call out. Black folks, disinformation is targeting our community when it comes to the public health response, when it comes to elections. It's trying to suppress our vote, disengage us, get us disillusioned. And this is a critical time where we need to be all hands on deck. DNC Director of Coalitions and Community Engagement, Brincia Berry, opts to call out the Republican Party directly. Democrats up and down the ticket are fighting for our rights, whether it be voting rights, for access to reproductive health care, and investing in HBCUs, investing in Black-owned businesses, Republicans have been working very hard to do the opposite. They want to uh, increase health care costs. They have consistently uh, voted against voting rights, and they want to take us backwards. We refuse to go back and we are going to continue to fight. The nation's justice correspondent, Ellie Mistal, shared his passion for getting rid of qualified immunity. If we shoot somebody, there is, uh, maybe there's no criminal justice, but there is civil justice. We sue the city, we get money from the city for the families of the victims but we can't sue the cops directly because of qualified immunity. Conversations like these are centered yearly at NABJ and remain pertinent in the black community. For more episodes of The Call Out, visit theroot.com.